Howdy. So I have a feeling that this video will take around like 15 minutes or so, maybe longer. I don't know. Um, and I also have a feeling that it'll be probably just like a dull, boring video. So you don't necessarily have to watch it. Fair warning. But what I'm planning to do here is create a couple of flows and I'll tell you why and what's the reason behind those flows. Um, so I'll just like create some stuff. Follow me uh, if you want to. Uh, just you know go through this video otherwise uh, this video is going to be for uh, like an article that I'll post on my website and on LinkedIn so and I'm pretty sure it will have some uh, screenshots and whatnot so if you get bored of this video just stop it and read that article okay so anyway back to the real important thing the flows the Microsoft flow um, why do we want to create them and what are they anyway so um, you know most of us work for uh, a company that has uh, that's either selling some sort of professional services or uh, some sort of a product and uh, as as someone who works for the company um, uh, you know it and in this like world that's mostly dominated by social media and social uh, information, uh, it's it kind of becomes important to share what your uh, services are, what your products are, what your offerings are uh, in the social media world, right? Uh, and uh, there are there are certain uh, famous, popular channels like you know LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, and whatnot. And um, many of us like to post our content in perhaps all these social channels. Now, when you're working for a company that publishes information on a very regular basis, uh, it's kind of difficult to keep up with uh, what my company is publishing. And then uh, once it's published, I copy it and post it on my uh, private like social media channels, right? So it's a very like uh, mechanical process, first of all, and also second of all, it's not easy to just kind of keep up with how regularly my company is uh, publishing and uh, uh, and thus, you know, post that content whenever it's available to my own followers or my community as well, right? So. So for those reasons, um, there is some uh, level of automation necessary so that you don't have to worry about when the content that you're interested in is published and so that you could share it with your community, right? So there are, so with technology like Microsoft Flow, you can create some sort of an automation mechanism where if something on your company's website or any other blog that you're interested in is published, that automatically gets uh, published onto your social media channels as well. So for example, uh, and I'll show you some examples here, uh, but uh, I uh, am interested in uh, sharing blog posts from the Dynamics 365 blog, for example, the official blog, right? So whenever there's an article on that blog, I want to share that on my LinkedIn, on my Twitter, etc. Similarly, I'm interested in sharing Power BI uh, material. So whenever there's a new post on the Power BI blog, I want to share that on LinkedIn and Twitter or wherever else. So either I keep, keep an eye on those posts uh, regularly and then whenever they're posted, I copy the link manually and then post it on my social media or I create a flow that will do that for me automatically. Okay, let's see how. So uh, now I'll start with a simple example. So as I mentioned, I am interested in the Power BI blog. So whenever there is a new post on the Power BI blog, I want this post to be shared automatically, automatically on my uh, social networks. So. Um, for that, the, the most essential thing that I need is the RSS feed. Okay. So, um, any blog that you follow, whether it's your company's blog, whether it's your, you know, the product that you sell, it, that's its blog, uh, or any other blog for that matter, every blog has a RSS feed. Okay. And usually you can, uh, you can look at it. You can know that it's available by looking at this like icon that looks like, um, some waves right uh, or even you have a button that says subscribe so when you click buttons like these what you get is the actual rss feed and these feeds are what 
are used by so many like you know uh, blog aggregators or services like Microsoft Flow to fetch information from these blogs. Okay, so once I have this RSS feed, what I have to do is uh, so I'll I'll copy it. Okay, I'm gonna use this, uh, but essentially what I'm doing is I'm creating a flow, a Microsoft Flow that will fetch information from that feed and do what I wanted to do with it, which is actually published to my social media networks. Um, so I'm going to go into my flows here and uh, I will create a new one. Uh, so let's start with a blank template. OK, and usually you'll see some some popular connectors that are already available. Uh, and in fact, this is the one that I actually want. All right. Uh, looks like it's a popular one, but still, let's ignore it for now and go with search hundreds of connectors and triggers. Um, so I'm going to go with that. And this is just to show you how to look for a certain trigger uh, or a connector. OK, so I can just find I can just type in the thing that I'm looking for. All right. So here's the RSS uh, connector, which I want. Uh, so I'm going to click it. And uh, the trigger that's available uh, is when a feed item is published, right? And that's what I want. Um, so I'm going to just click it. And uh, this is where it asks me to enter the URL of the feed, which we copied from the website. All right. So there is that. And now I want to add a new step here. OK, so whenever a feed item is published from that URL, which is the Power BI blog, I want to add an action and I want this to uh, go on my let's start with Twitter. OK, so it's right there. Um, so I'm going to choose Twitter. And let's look for post a tweet. That's what I want, because I want that blog post to become a tweet from me. OK, so I choose post to tweet and it will ask me to sign in. Looks like I've never signed in to uh, I've not used this connector before. Oh, geez. Oh, OK, do I know my password? No, that's not it. Ugh. I hope it works. Fingers crossed and it did. OK, thank goodness. All right. So what it wants is uh, it now I'm going to click on show advanced options as well. So the tweet to be posted is the text that I want to go in there and I would want it to be um, the feed title. OK, and I would put a space in there and I would say the feed link. All right. It doesn't want to go there. There primary feed link. And, you know, from my own on my own, I would also add um, a hashtag. OK, and I'll I'll call it hashtag Power BI. How about that? <clears throat> All right. Media. If there's any media, uh, do I see anything for media? I don't. It's fine. Um, yeah, I don't see anything for media, but if there's a media option here. I could have chosen that here as well. Um, all right. So so there's that. Um, and that's actually it. And now um, I will say create flow. OK. Um, and that's done. So whenever I have uh, and I can actually let me edit this flow real quick. When a feed item is published on, let's call it on the Power BI blog, then post a tweet. All right, that that's better. At least I know now what that flow is for. So that's pretty much it, actually. Um, so whenever a new blog post is added, uh, is published on the blog, this flow will tweet that blog link for me uh, on my behalf. All right. So similarly, I can have uh, let's do another one real quick. Um, go back to my flows and uh, this time we'll do it for LinkedIn. OK, uh, I'm going to do create from blank. And when a feed is published. OK, we'll use the same URL. Uh, add a new step. OK, and 
we will look for LinkedIn all right so there it is and we will say share an article okay so whenever that power bi uh feed item is published we want that to be shared on our on my personal linkedin as well okay so what would be the content url it would be the primary feed link okay and then let's go visibility would be anyone and the title i want the title to be the feed title the description would be the feed summary uh, image url is there one uh, there's there's no option for image here so that can be blank um comment i don't know it can be blank um in the description what i'll do is i'll also add hashtag or bi how about that where did it go okay i think it names it itself so let's say create flow there it is okay uh, let me edit this let me just make it more uh useful when a feed item is placed in bar on power bi blog share an article on linkedin that's better that's it okay all right so now whenever something gets shared on the power bi blog you will see a tweet from me you will see that same article posted by me on linkedin but guess what i will not be doing anything manually it'll all be done by these two microsoft flows and you know so so these were simple flows right uh, so we can do some more magic here in that um and i think i created a yeah this is the one okay i want to show you something interesting here so what we are doing here is uh something very similar to, the, to what we did earlier okay so uh this time i am um looking at the rss feed for the official microsoft dynamics 365 blog okay so whenever a new blog post is posted here at the dynamics 365 blog it gets shared on my linkedin as well however uh, here's here's the here's the difference here though what I'm doing here is I'm checking for a con condition if the feed title contains field service okay which I mean as you can see here uh, the Dynamics 365 blog has various topics right uh, and rightly so because the product is just so vast uh, but you can see that you know it has posts about social engagement customer engagement field service project service and whatnot so what I want to do really is I want to use the appropriate hashtags for each of these uh, posts, right? So what I'm doing here essentially is uh, I am looking at the feed title. If it contains a specific word or a specific keyword or keywords, then I am uh, adding some specific like hashtags, okay? So you can see here, I'm adding MS 365 and hashtag field service. Similarly, the other condition is if it contains social engagement, then I'm adding hashtag MSC, hashtag social engagement, um, and things like that. So I can, you know, make this more elaborate and uh, use as many hashtags as I want, as I can add as many conditions as I want. But just so you know, the flow gives you so much flexibility in that it's not just sharing content for you. It's also making it more useful for your community members so that when they're looking at the post that you shared, they know that it's for social engagement or for field service or for project service or for customer engagement, right? So if they are interested in customer engagement uh, content, and they know that you always post awesome customer engagement content and uh, uh, they, they, they are always interested in knowing what you publish, right? So if they see the hashtag customer engagement and they see that it's coming from you, they would be definitely, they surely will, uh, will click on it and read that content, right? So yeah, so this is something that I wanted to show you. Uh, the first one, the Power BI one was more simple. We just had the RSS feed and then we just, shared it but here we are adding some conditions we are looking at the content 
And depending on what content it is, we are using certain uh, hashtags. That's pretty much it. I don't know how long this video is. Um, ooh. Yeah, so I hope this helps. Um, so yeah, based on these flows in the future, if you see things from me on my LinkedIn, uh, you know, me posting about like Power BI or um, Dynamics 365, you know that it's because of this flow. So get on it. It's pretty awesome. Thanks for watching.